Hi, Gemini. It's Lulu, and today I'm going to do your spiritual conversation. Hmm? Thank you. Sun, moon, and rising Gemini, midheaven, wherever, if you know how to read your chart. I don't know why I said all that. I ain't said it all day. Now then, thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love. I receive mm. and support. Mm. Okay, Gemini, y'all getting it together. I like it. Let's see what's going on. Um, any information that you need is in the description box, Aline. Mm -hmm. Now then, I like it. So this is a smooth, even though it's kind of late, and I don't like doing readings late. Okay, because all types of shit be coming out. That's when all that death and stuff before coronavirus hit. I'm going to talk about it. It just went up in there. I started feeling it again. I don't like feeling that. It was deep. So I guess we're in a safe place now. Angels, what information do you have for Gemini? Hmm? Hmm. What do you have a thing? Thank you all. Oh, shit. Okay. So, y'all the first ones that got a lot going on. A whole, whole lot going on. See that? Let's read it together. Okay. Moving into stability. You may even find you some friends with benefits. Important people. Important connections. But look here. Okay. You're going to have a little time to really rest and rejuvenate. Just a little time. Not a lot. Because you will be um, moving and shaking and, and with the, the shakers and the movers, I feel. Um, getting things done is going to be the theme for you for the next six to eight weeks. You are getting things done. You are being pulled in different directions. But it is needed. There's a lot on your plate. Hmm? Get a bigger plate. Darling, let's see. Feel like you can't do it, can't get it done. Feeling like you need more of something. Not seeing that you have all you need already. Take on an attitude of gratitude. There may even be some type of envy outside of you. From the outside looking in, people think you got it all together. They don't even know the half of it, Gemini. It's getting late, but I am determined to get these readings done tonight. So we about to have fun and we about to say some real shit. Hmm? On the outside looking in, they don't know all your business, Gemini. They don't know what it takes for you to make things happen, how you pull through what you pull through. So there may be some green eyes going round like a Christmas wreath from the book of my rep back in the day. Green eyes go round like a Christmas wreath. We finna clarify it. You don't know who to trust, how to trust, what to trust. You got options and you got the moon. Let's slow down because that's what we're doing tonight. You're here for it or not. Thank you. So they said get these. Miss Cleo, come through, sis. Next. Your stability and security depends solely whether you are in some type of situation or what have you, maybe you have help or what have you. There is something that, that your security, your stability depends solely on your, um, the way that you see things, the way that you envision things. Hmm? They say keep your eyes on your own plate. Keep your eyes on your own paper. That may be something you need to share on social media for people that's just watching you in your business. They don't know your business. They don't know what it takes for you to do what you do. Clarify this. What is this? Because you got a new way of looking at things. And you got to pull. Okay, so this is what they're saying. Pull yourself together. Don't get too caught in your feminine. Don't get too caught in your masculine. Balance it out. So that you can make this, um, take this new approach when it comes to your life, when it comes to how you do things. Um, there's a number of options that are available to you. 
you have to use your discernment on what door to walk through. You may be even thinking about um, starting a business or starting um, starting a business. Looking deeper into um, things. It's not going to take for you to look too deep into things because a lot of the answers will be at the forefront. Be mindful. Uh, using your intuition um, henceforth will be very important for you as well. I also feel that um, with the options that are available to you, um, there's a lot of leg work. So you may be shaking hands and holding babies, being political, as they call it, in the coming weeks. Putting on a smile when you really want to cry. It's right here. Be political. Um, Maybe a visit to the hospital, having to visit someone who um, you have some type of disdain for or they have some type of disdain for you, but it's, it's about do you go? Do you show your support? This is calling you to show your support where you may have not, you may not have been supported. Hmm? Joining of forces. You're trying to decide on who to join forces with and how, and where does that line up in your story? Is this person or situation just an extra in your story to get you to the next level? It's for you to decide. There may be a number of unrealized options that are available to you. You may be moving in one direction and be uh, shifted into another direction. Flow of emotion. You're going to have an aha moment. There's a flow of emotion, a flow of clarity. Hmm? Or around the time when you have your moon phase or your flow is when you realize things. But you need to use your discernment because you may be confused. Because I just keep seeing you gathering yourself over and over. You got three twos. I see you gathering yourself over and over, trying to make something work, trying to be the bigger person, trying to do the right thing, expecting expectations. Ex read the four agreements. Some expectations in there. Thank you. You may be confused about things that are revealed to you. Afraid, fear, neglecting things that are revealed to you. Some of you are water goddesses or you um, are affiliated with a water goddess. Thank you. What is this? The high priestess. Secrets revealed. Truth coming to the light. A new way, a new approach. Now that you see, you cannot unsee. Some of you are going through that transformative period that we talk about here a lot at the house where you don't, you look different. You feel you're back in your body because you've gone through some type of initiation, high priestess. You've gone through some type of initiation. Now you see yourself differently. It's not ego. This is beautiful. Hmm? Because now you know who you are in this moment. Don't forget, we change. That's part of life. You change till you roll up at this bitch. Whether you like it or not. I like this reading. Now. Secrets revealed. Knowledge revealed. Clarity revealed. What you thought would be took on a different meaning, took on a different journey, took on a different perception. You see things different. What are these options? Is this the end of the reading spirit? Queen of Cups. You're more in tune with your star player than you will ever be. Now, if this is someone outside of you who gives you some insight, 
Because this motherfucker trained falcons. I don't think that's a falcon. But then I believe this is you. You're more sensitive. Like I said before, you went through that initiation. You're more sensitive. You're more open. You're more optimistic. You've grown. You're moving from feminine wisdom. I like it. Ready to move forward. Yep. There it is. Oh, this was at the bottom of the deck. Balance. Security. A financial decision that brings beautiful reward to you and your family. Hmm? This is something that will be passed on from generations. You made the right decision. Something passed on from generations from here, here henceforth. Hmm? Look at that. This child has a pentacle. Legacy. Move forward. Now, I feel like you will be receiving a lot of messages, a lot of communication. Um, I also feel that your partnership will grow. There is strength in numbers, and you are aware of that, but you need to be mindful of who you are partnering, partnering with, what messages you are responding to, what messages are you putting out there into the universe or just from your phone. Building. Bringing it together. Things working out bigger than, and better than what you thought they would in the first place. At first thought, mm, it could have been small. Second thought, oh. Now you ain't thinking and you just going with the flow. Boom. Hmm? I like it. It's kind of chilly in here. Now, I'm seeing here where... <clears throat> Mm. I don't know why this Queen of Cups is giving me Empress energy, but she is. Very wise. There may be someone who is extending their help or their expertise in certain situations in your life. Someone that you didn't even think knew what they knew that brings balance. Someone who gives you some type of tip and maybe a stock tip. It's some type of tip. This may be someone who is very wise for their age, this Queen of Cups. It's somebody that's been through some things. She done been through all the cups. She know all the sides of the emotions and the feelings and what have you. She's walked her road with dignity. And she offers you some type of advice. It's maybe a message coming through from this person. It's a water sign. Or just the type of person that I described. Move forward. Strength. In your relationship, building a partnership, building a situation that is long-lasting. Hmm? Something that you have inherited, you are using now for the benefit of others, but it, it is also financially rewarding, if that makes sense. Aries. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries, but overall, what I'm getting here is that something is being passed on to you from the father's side. Hmm? Maybe getting a raise. No, that ain't no raise. This is what it is. Standing in your truth, too. Not, you may be facing your father in this, in this uh, stage and age. You may be needing to face your father. You may be needing to uh, let someone know that the way that they believe and the way that they do things is still stagnant. The well has run dry. Here. You no longer want to do the things that you used to do in the way that you used to do. You are in that space, building a new foundation when it comes to how you emotionally deal with things, how you express your emotions, really taking charge of your life and how you want to um, proceed forward. This may also be uh, someone that you are dealing with that you don't want to cut from. You don't want an offer from. You don't want an apology from. You don't want to work with them. And it's no ill feelings. You're just tired. Mm -hmm. Look at this. All right. I don't know why I clarified. You got the world card. Things have to end for new things to begin. Many of you may be working with Kali. Okay. 
letting it go, burning through it. It's time to look at things from a different perspective. The world is your oyster. Where is your oyster knife? It's time to look at things from a different perspective. Things are bigger than you. For those of you who do moon magic or those of you who work at night, this is your time to shine. You will get the call up to your soul to do things the way that you should. There's a silver lining in any of the issues that you have. This is crossing the options that are available. The way that you used to think and the things that you thought were available to you, there is no longer room for that. There is no growth in those things. Now you know. An offer of emotional support. Someone coming in to make some type of offer. This may be you thinking things through. It may be a Sagittarius, Taurus, another Gemini here, or whoever. It's a man, though, or a masculine energy that may be. This is someone offering you some type of insight from that envy. That This is someone offering you insight from that lack. This is someone offering you insight to get your gears grinding. And this is the aha moment that comes from your spirit. You are love. You are light. You exude God light. You are a God. You are a goddess. But this is also the love of family. So this is the matriarch. Maybe you are the matriarch. I don't know why I feel like somebody moving upstairs. Deciding to move upstairs. Closing a door that you knew led to nowhere or no man's land. Clarify this uh, love. There's some insight coming through as well. Look at that. Commitment. Hmm? Renewal. Hmm? Renewal of spirit. Renewal of a relationship. A happy ending. <laughs> A happy ending. Joining of forces. Integrating feminine wisdom. Now that you've gone through this up and down, in and out, not feeling like you enough, got enough, moving forward. Smooth sailing. You went through your rite of passage, now it's time for you to celebrate. You've gone through enough. Until next time. Because there's an ebb and a flow. So you're good for now. You've learned. Your mind is at ease. Chaos, confusion, it's gone. Hmm? You got rid of people, situations. You got rid of the nouns. Anything that was a burden on your spirit, you got rid of it in order for you to move forward. That's what they said. I really like this her and the conversation that comes with it. What is this, Six of Swords? Balance, mental balance. Mental balance when it comes to your relationships and how you... Move forward. Hmm? Taking matters into your own hands and moving forward with some type of project or some way of being, right? The insight that you have, keeping that balance, making sure that you are masculine and feminine within is balanced moving forward. Not losing your cool. Hmm? We don't hop on the front. We don't hop on ships like this and lose our cool. You lose your cool, you might lose your balance. You lose your cool, you might lose your grounding, your footing. Sagittarius, soulmate energy. Hmm? It just stopped on its own because late at night, the freaks come out at night. Let's see what's going on. Now then, when it comes to any type of burden, you want to make sure that you, because um, you're coming to a, the end of a cycle when it comes to the work that you do and how you do things. It's going to take some time and it will be some residual energy that you have to work through in your life. It's going to be important for you not to be a, a, a feel oppressed or burdened or feel as though this is too much for me to handle, too much for me to allow to, I can't resist being overwhelmed. Yes, you can. What are you giving your attention to? Hmm? Temperance. This is a breakthrough. You've gone through a whole lot. When you come to a wall, feeling like you can't get through it, that's you climb over it. Delegate. 
ask for help. You don't have to go through things and suffer unwarranted suffering. Find a victory in everything. Smile despite the odds. There may even be a water sign who um, is coming through and wants to amend things with you, amend um, issues with you, want to make things right with this Ten of Cups. Because you've done so much work. This may be a new home as well. Um, there may even be a decision that you are moving toward and you're trying to make the right decision, but you want to make sure that you are not overwhelmed. Ask for help. That's what they said. So at the end of the day, <clears throat> you will be moving into um, a space where either you will be the woman holding the coin or you will be... Um, Getting some insight from someone who has the coin, someone who lives rather lavishly, whoever it is. That's it. They didn't say nothing else. Someone is going to reveal their true intentions. I feel like it's a man. You already intuitively knew. That something was off, something was wrong. Hmm? All you got to do is sh say, show me what it is you have, Miss see. They'll come in front of you and tell you exactly how they fucked up. They may not admit it fully, but they'll show you who they are. Ask. They will come to your doorstep and tell you the truth. That's it. It's going to be a long night. Mm-hmm. A long night. I'm here for it. You here for it? If you here for it, just put two hands up like this in the comments. You here for it? That's all I ask. You ask for my 